there's a remarkable dog called Chaser. She belongs to John Pilly, a retired psychology professor, and John has been training her to see how many words she can learn. Chaser has a lot of toys. In fact, she has well over a thousand. So can she remember their names? Yep, 95% of them. Sunflower, like sunflower. There's sunflower, shake. Yeah, shake. She knows her nouns from her verbs, so she knows whether to doze it or pour it or take it or... And she knows lots of other commands as well. Nose. ABC. So if she can't pick up any information from visual clues, John's hiding behind a screen here. Paul lips, Paul lips, Paul lips, Paul lips. Good girl, good case. Take lamb, take lamb, case, take lamb, take lamb. To papa, to papa. Okay, so Chase has never heard the word tortoise here, but she's going to work it out because it's different to all the other objects that she does know the name of. Chase, find tortoise, find tortoise, find tortoise. Yeah, there's tortoise, but tortoise in tub. Good girl. So if you ask Chaser to fetch something unfamiliar, he'll be able to work it out from context. Charcoal. Pretty smart, huh? Find charcoal, Chase. Find charcoal. Get charcoal. Do it. Do it, girl. No, go get charcoal. Get charcoal. Get charcoal. I want charcoal. Bring it to Papa. Bring it to Papa. Yeah, bring it to Papa. Come on. There's charcoal. Good girl. Chaser can also understand superordinate nouns that comprise a category. So ask him to fetch Weenie, say, and he'll pick up a particular toy that's called Weenie. But ask him to pick up a ball, and he'll know that he's looking for something that meets the criteria of yeah, being round and maybe oh, bouncy. Oh, go get another ball. Go get another ball. You're doing good, girl. You're doing good. Yeah, there's a ball. Word meanings generally have fuzzy boundaries, and it raises the issues of categories. Chaser is understanding superordinate noun categories, but more on that another day.